to the people of the Ukraine, we are anonymous. To politicians, police, and the government of Ukraine as an entity, anonymous, is watching the revolution, in your country, unfold. We are paying close attention to the brutal and barbaric police suppression with which these demonstrations are met, with ever-growing concern and rising anger. When politicians make decisions based on their own interests, divorced from the desires or will of the people they claim to represent conflicts, is inevitable. What we see unfolding in Ukraine is not simply a conflict over whether the nation should have closer links with the European Union or Russia, it is a struggle to hold a corrupt government accountable for shady backroom deals and their flagrant disregard for the interests of the Ukrainian people. When President Viktor Yanukovych caved into pressure from Russia and abandoned the EU agreement a week before it was to be signed, he showed contempt for Ukrainian voters and a craven inability to stand up for himself, his government or the democracy he claims to represent. We see on the streets of Kiev and other cities a population angered by government deceit, exercising their democratic rights. The Ukrainian government has shown its cowardice, yet again, by unleashing and called for violence against the protesters at the hands of the riot police, protecting the interests of the autocratic authorities. The choice is obvious, when we see photos of unarmed Ukrainians, bloody but defiant, facing off against an overwhelming force of well-armed and trained officers, Anonymous favors the underdog, the courageous that are willing to risk their life and limb for a cause that moves them to great action. This desire to take risks to enable change is one that Anonymous understands only too well. Yanukovych has painted himself into a corner. He cannot risk angering President Vladimir Putin by backing out of his secret deal that was negotiated behind closed doors in November. However, neither can he risk further inflaming the fury of his own people. It would appear to be a balancing act that is destined to see him topple. So, what is to be done in the Ukraine now? While the Ukrainian government refuses to be the voice of the people it represents, Anonymous will lend its own voice to theirs, amplifying it through every means at the disposal of the hive. Yanukovych, for treading on the aspirations of your people, for the violence unleashed on activists, journalists and protesters seeking change. We fully declare the next statement to be heard by the police, the government and the corrupt politicians. Operation Ukraine, engaged. We are anonymous, we are legion, we never forgive, we never forget, to the government of Ukraine, to the police, expect our full wrath.